Today we're going to tie a hot spot hair zier for you. Uh, in the vise here I've got a size 12 hook and a 1 1 8 millimeter or a 1 8 bead or a 3.5 millimeter tungsten and I've got a few wraps of lead on there. We're going to use red thread on this. I've already got the thread and the thread going. I'm going to just wrap back here a little ways. For the tail we're going to use Coq de Lyon. Pick some of this up um, recently and it's been just fantastic material. It's very durable, easy to use. You know, a lot of the flies we used to have we tie on a lot of, we use pheasant tail a lot and other things and you know usually the first thing to go on the fly was the tail. Well the tail is about the last thing to go. Now this Coq de Lyon is very durable. For the ribbing we're going to use a copper wire. I'm just going to tie this on on the near side, right on the side. I'm going to wrap both of these materials up. This kind of tying these both in at the same time helps reduce your thread wraps. Going to get up to about right there to where the back of the lead is. Clip that cock delete one off. All right, for the dubbing on this, I'm just going to take my thread back to the back. For the thread, or for the dubbing, we're going to use a natural brown squirrel dubbing. Uh, it's very, very spiky, very easy to use. Really, really been liking this dubbing. So I'm just going to do a very thin, thin abdomen. I don't want this abdomen very thick at all. So I'm going to dub a couple of few inches. I'm going to pull that thread or the dubbing right up to the base where I'm going to start the dubbing. And I'm going to just start wrapping just one right after another and just get that nice, slightly tapered. As you can kind of see, I'm going to work, work my way up. I'm going to need just a little bit more. I didn't get quite enough on the first time. So that ought to do it. All right, get up to about two thirds to three quarters of the way. All right, so now I'm going to wrap it with about four wraps with this copper wire. All right, and I'm going to get on my near side and I'm going to tie it off with a few thread wraps. All right, for the wing case, I'm going to use Kraft Thin Skin. It's very, <coughs> very <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Very durable. I'm going to tie that off. <laughs> Can't do it. Very adorable. Sorry, excuse me. I'm gonna put the shiny side down because of the shiny. We want the shiny side up after we get going here. So we're gonna tie that in. Perfect. Now here for the hot spot, I'm gonna use a hot pink ice stubbing. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. All right. So, um, yep, we're gonna do a pretty good, pretty good little ball of this of this ice stubbing. And we're gonna, so we're gonna get this on here, tie it right in there, just big ball. See, I mean, it might look a little bad now. We're gonna put some of this same dubbing, this squirrel dubbing, right on top of it to kind of finish off the fly here. This kind of helps. It won't, that hot spot won't be looking that big by the time we're done with this fly here. So we're gonna, we're gonna wrap kind of back on top of it a little bit. We need a little bit more. All right. So. Okay, that looks about right. I'm gonna pull this thin skin over. See, now you got that shiny side up. We're gonna put with about two wraps in front, and I like to put about two or three wraps in the back. And I'm gonna clip this off. I always like to come back with just a little bit of dubbing. That thin skin, I don't think I have sharp enough scissors, I guess, but the thin skin kind of pokes up a little, a little after I get it cut, so I like to put just a few wraps of this same dubbing to kind of help finish the fly off and then I'm going to just whip finish it. And as we've done on all of them, we do, I do at least two whip finishes on these flies. It helps um, make sure those thread wraps aren't going to come apart at the head. All right, so that is your, you can take a Velcro and kind of brush that out a little bit. As you can see that, that, that hot spot is just, it's worked. This is uh, if you're doing a Euro European nymphing, this is what worked really good for us for this this season. So, go get these materials and tie some of these up.